All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Panel Party mod, which is being made by form user Jade of Mar. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely little selection of new structural panels for you to build things with, and they're pretty darn interesting so let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get now let's grab a mark one command pod for size comparison's sake and then no real need to use the mod filter today so let's just head down to structural and have a look at the four parts that get added in and even though it's only four parts Oh boy, there's a lot of potential with these things. So let's take a look at uh, the parts themselves first, and we have the party panel one by one, which is just sort of a standard sized one by one panel here with, you know, some nice texturing on there and modeling a lovely, lovely little thing. And we then have it in a two by two size right there, a three by three size, and then a four by four party panel size. And if it were just these things on their own, eh, I wouldn't care too much for this mod, but it's in the options where this gets a lot more interesting. So if we just start down here with the one by one, we can right click on the part and we have our little context menu here where we can change what the mod refers to as the serving and the flavor of the party panel. Now basically what the serving is, is the shape of the panel, and the flavor is the texture. And that's, I find it amusing that they went that route with the naming, it just adds a little bit of whimsy, and who doesn't love a little bit of whimsy in their life? And uh, as for the serving on the one by one panel, we don't have many options on this one, either having the full one by one, or a half block size so you can make nice little corner angles, which is handy. Now, as for the flavors, oh, we got a lot more of those, and it's gonna be the same flavors for every part, as you can see from the switchable parts in here. We have 11 flavors for each of the different panels, either being the standard, the uh, black and white, the soyuz, the dim, the rust, the chocolate, the custard, the pistachio, the Oreo, the peanut, and the strawberry. And so those are our different flavors. And again, they're going to be all the same no matter which ones you go to here. Uh, they are all going to be the exact same 11 different textures for you to enjoy. And that's pretty nice right there. Now, where it gets very interesting is with the different servings as we move up to the 2x2. Two two. So again, for the 1x1, one one, we either have the full or the half. Now on the 2x2, two two, oh, 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 we have the full. We have the barn curve. We have the shuriken. We have the right angle. We have the three of four, the checkers, the linear, and the two and a half. So a lot of different and unique shapes on there. I, I very much like that, especially the barn door. It's uh, just a, a fun little shape there. Very, very intriguing. We then, on if I actually exit that bit, on the three by three have the fool, the hollow, the N, the L square, the T, the octa, the octa hollow, the linear, the steps, the W, the penta, the elbow, the right angle, the checkers A, the checkers B, the checkers C, the bracket, the linear B, and finally, the linear C. So again, a lot of fun options here to change the shape to give you just a lot of interesting combinations. And that's not all, as we have the 4x4, four four, where we have the square, the square hollow A, the square hollow B, the octagon, the octa hollow A, octa hollow B, the diamond, the diamond hollow, the linear A, the linear B, the linear C, the right angle, the steps, the L square, and finally the diagonal. 
So again, a lot of good unique options, and it's cool that we have different shapes depending on the size of these different parts, which again gives you a lot of opportunities to not just use the 4x4 with its different shapes, but to then combine it with the other parts to tack on, say to the side here, yeah boy, I'd have to actually turn this thing correctly nope that's what i was trying to do perfect so we can now angle off from there and then change that to a half angle and just just build off of each of these shapes and one thing i hadn't pointed out yet which well i just kind of showed there is as the shapes change so too do the attachment points so rather than having the perfect four by four square of attachment points we now have this angled one on that angled bit as well as the different points in the interior we also have on this one here again the same sort of exterior points but then one on that angle and on the barn door we have the ones on the uh, sort of bottom and side and then that one singular attachment point on the corner and that's very cool so not only do we get different shapes but we get different ways to build these parts between them now as you'll notice when I did unclick this we can no longer attach it to the barn without doing things and if you change the shape while it's already attached to something it will maintain that hold but then if you click off of it well we'll never be able to get back to that other shape again unless we you know actually bring it back to that shape but it's very cool and it offers so many different possibilities now back to the context menu no matter which one you're on the one by one or the four by four we have two ways of selecting the serving and the flavor either through these bars up here which we can you know click in there or click the buttons but we also can select from a list via these two buttons here so if we'd like to switch the serving we can click that and we get a, a lovely little context text menu showing us all of the different things where we can either select it or cancel out but of course we can select it there and then same with the switch flavor bringing up this little sub menu to be able to change it as you see fit which uh, both ways are good I mean this one's a little bit quicker especially if you roughly know where the color is you're using on everything you can just constantly go back and forth between parts and you know select exactly what you want if you know the position but if you're unsure, and especially on the 4x4 that has a lot more serving options, it is kind of nice to have the list. But there we go. So let's head out to the launch pad where I built a, uh, a thing. It's not really a ship, but it's, it's there. It's my panel party probe, I guess. But just to show off what you can kind of do with putting these parts together and do things like yeah spell stuff out that that is something you can do this is using a number of parts from diagonals to the brackets to the uh the linear pieces etc to put it together and actually spell something and that's that's fun now of course that's just one potential use but with all the shapes you could build interesting structures interesting space stations build more interesting large-scale ships uh, just really whatever you'd like that's always the great part of well part mods like this so if you'd like to have a look at this uh, for yourself as I would definitely suggest you do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but yeah that is really it for this mod nothing really else to talk about with it it's a lovely selection of structural panels with many many shapes and sizes so uh, do go check it out have fun with it and I do of course hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you come back for the next but until that time thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one well that that just kind of landed didn't it i was hoping for at least a small explosion oh well you don't win them all later folks